a good morning, good evening, or oh, good afternoon, folks. Where am I? I'm down uh, in Redditch. Uh, I'm near the, the cemetery, actually, and crematorium uh, by Sainsbury, it's a sort of marker. Uh, I'm just walking round. Um, actually, I'm going to go back, so I'm just going to tell you of just uh, a bit of history. I don't normally do facts, because the trouble is on YouTube, uh, if you get it wrong, keyboard warriors don't like it. But anyway, for us any more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now I'm, the, I'm on the site of St Stephen's Chapel. As you know, I like looking around churches, but this one's been knocked down. But the site was uh, St Stephen's Gateway Chapel and Graveyard. It was built in the early 1200s, I remember it well. Uh, and it served the travellers and visitors to the Abbey. And when boards the uh, Abbey was pulled down in 1538, uh, the chapel survived. And it was used till 1805, I remember that date well. Anyway, um, there is a small graveyard here and the stones apparently have been used from uh, the Abbey. Uh, and the tree was planted by J.M. Woodward, Woodward uh, who first excavated, excavated the abbey in 1864. So there's a bit of history there. So there's a lovely tree, it's a redwood tree. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna put my drone up. Hopefully it'll give you a shot of the new police station and uh, surrounding areas. One of the reasons, I'm just testing the drone out, because what it's supposed to do is when the battery goes low, it's supposed to tell me, give me a bit of warning. Well, it didn't the other day, but it was right close to me. That might have been the reason. So, uh, just go in here. Again, thanks for joining us. It's been a funny week this week if I can tell you the day. So I've got me drone in my hand. Oh, blimey. It's my life story. I think it's the 6th of September. Uh, I'll, I'll check again in a minute because it's on 12 o'clock of me watch. I can't see. Yes, yeah, so we've got the redwood tree here. It is a nice tree. Uh, just going to go over to it because it's a big one. Uh, if I can tilt up from here. We're gonna go on the top in a minute in the drone, but there she is, up there. Little bit of a manual spin round, uh, steady as you go. And then uh, gonna swing round here. Uh, any tips on the day? Oh, forget the date in sight. Uh, yeah, so there's the tree now. Um, it has been a bit of a sad week this week. The one good news is I won the lottery. Yeah, I'm not joking, 30 quid. So that weren't too bad, I'm not complaining. And uh, I went to a funeral on Monday of a friend from Assel Bank. Then I went uh, to a funeral of my school friend, Terry Bolton from the Ridgeway. I went I, to, from my house to the way, it was 80 miles, so I'd done a few miles, but it was worth it. I met his sister there, Davina, who I hadn't seen from the school days. Uh, met up with a few people and had a nice chat. He was an artist, Terry. Some lovely pictures. Now, what I'm going to do now is about now, I'm going to include a picture which was at the chapel. He painted it. Now, when I sat down, this picture, I thought it was part of the church, you know, because it looked like a wooden cross was put in front of the picture, but it wasn't. And when I looked at the picture, I couldn't understand, sat back, there was something on the floor, and I couldn't understand what it was. And what it is, it's, it's a... It's a lovely photo, it's got the sun shining through, well photo, painting, and then there's a cross. There's nothing on the cross, but on the floor is a shadow of Christ 
with his arms out. Uh, very imaginative and lovely painting. I'm not going to show any more of his paintings unless you want to see them and let me know and I'll include some of the video because at the wake they had all these pictures up and they were really nice. Anyway, that's another Terry. Let's just drop my bag down a minute. Um, I say, it was a sad day. He was a lovely chap, Terry. I did, from school, I didn't see him for many years, but we did connect on Facebook. We had a nice video chat a few years ago, but I didn't know he'd been in a care home for two years, so. Anyway, and then, because of that, I've already mentioned I'm off to Corfu uh, next week, because I was gonna go next year, and I thought, well, I better, uh, get me skates on. You never know when you're going to be called up. Uh, so uh, then I had a message, because at the Astlebank Carnival, I, we were all sat down, had a lovely afternoon, and Pinny, whose funeral I went to, he was, uh, he was uh, there, and obviously he passed away. And there was a lovely bunch of ladies, including my sister. We were all chatting. My sister was doing their cards, etc tarot card readings and it was a lovely afternoon you couldn't ask for not and a nicer crowd of people unfortunately one of those ladies uh passed away last week um she wasn't really from redditch and she wasn't really i don't i'm not going to say her name because i don't think anyone that watches my channel would know who she was but her first name was deborah anyway so uh and that that was a shock to hear that. But so you never know what's around the corner. And I've said enough, I used to say the doom and gloom. I'm gonna get me drone out now. Just gonna give one more little look round here um, before I do. I usually have my stick with me, but I've got another little tripod to, uh, now all these stones here, you probably have, they've got writing on them, but they're people that couldn't afford a stone and they got them from the abbey and there they say there's nothing on them but there's a this one's got um lh on it you can see that so straighten the gimbal up right so there's the tree I'm gonna give you one more little tilt up there so let's get me drone out let's do it all right, to get the drone out, I'm not sure how much of this footage I'm going to use now, uh, but the sun's come out, so I'm going to get switched on. Uh, I've had some nice comments recently about my drone footage, which is nice. So I'm just giving the screen a quick clean and... Uh, Get the drone out. And with the drones, always give your blades a quick check. Make sure they're all right. Oh, <coughs> put a battery in. I charge the three batteries. Make sure it clicks in. Two clicks, hold it down. We're on. <coughs> Should be all right there. I've just got to get connected up now. So it's lovely weather, I must say. So uh, let's wait for this to get sorted out. So whether I'll use all this, I don't know. I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just formatting the uh, the card or camera. Now, it pays to, before you come out, um, just check your batteries all charged, because what they do, once you charge them up, they uh, slowly go down to about 40-50% to keep the batteries in good order. Anyway, we're all done, so we can now go up. So I'm going to turn the drone round to me. I have speeded the turn round up. Oh. Right, so I've just synced me uh, 
south in. So we go up now, check that tree out as we go. It's going to go around a little bit. Oh. Just going to tilt down to make sure I'm getting the right tree because there's a few here. Yeah, that's it. Going up. Yeah, there she is. I'm going to go forwards a bit so we're over her. there. I'm going to go a bit more going up. Just a bit of an East Enders spin as we go up to the top of the shop. Yeah, so that's Sainsbury's uh, fuel station. Still got to go up a little bit. Where are you? Yeah, so there's Sainsbury's there. Let's get some markers in. That's the beef eater just there. That's the new police station over there. Uh, just zoom across a little bit. So, uh, Go that way a little bit. Yeah, so that's the new police station. Then we got um, Sainsbury's over there. I'm keeping on the battery, 86%. Got the roundabout there, quite busy. And uh, you got um, B and M. No, own bar. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. B, no, it's B&M, yeah, get it right, Roy. Yeah, B&M there. And then we've got the town centre. Somewhere in the background. There. I think I can just see the church over there. So I'm going to give you a little spin round. So I've done this before, but I wanted to uh, just try the uh, drone out today. So uh, so I'm just going to bring the drone back over to me now. It's uh, gone the wrong way. So a little spin round here. We're not far, far away from above me, but uh, I've just got to be a bit nimble on my thumb because I remember I've speeded the uh, this round here. A dog walker just come in, so shouldn't affect me. Sometimes they come up and have a chat, but I don't think this one's going to. Well, it's going to go above me now, which is there. Going down. All right. Uh, yeah. You all right? Yes, thank you. Yeah, going for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> have a nice one. Right, so, uh, yeah. This drone should be pretty well above me now. Uh, so I'm just going to fly on me and I'm going to just tilt over towards the uh, the Abbey now. I've got a few trees here, so sometimes. Um, but yeah, there's the Forge Mill Museum there. Just zoom back out, and the uh, the Abbey ruins are over there. So I can. Uh, fly over to them. Right, so just be do a bit of editing just there. So we're going to go 
across now uh, towards the Abbey. Well, we're still at uh, 400 feet, so we should be coming above with it now. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, just give you a little look round there. Still, I'm checking my battery 72%. Don't know what that was about. So, uh, something to, I think it was the garage telling someone about the thing. So, I'm facing back this way at the moment. So, it's going to go round again. So I'm still at the top of the shop here, so uh, yeah, do another little spin round. I'm going to bring the drone down then, now in a sec. So it's going to go all the way round, then I'm going to bring the drone back over to me. But thanks for joining us. Uh, it's it's I to test my battery out because I had that didn't give me the warning. It could have been because it was right close to me. And also, uh, I like to have a bit of a practice every couple of weeks, so I know what I'm up to. So hopefully, should be coming back over towards me now. It's not far away from me. I got. I use a little compass um, in the corner of the screen, and it, it's got a little arrow on it. And you just point it. Um, it's great, really, because you can um, just point it to uh, exactly. It's going to. I'm going to point it now to go straight on the top of me at that. That's it. Right, going down. Right. Yeah, it's a lovely day here. And again, thanks for joining us. Um, so, uh, yeah, just a bit of drone. I might go on a walk later today. There she comes. Not far away. Just seeing where I'm. Oh, yeah. There's me. Come on down. Yeah, thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go the other way. No, uh, that's it. Too, oops, too far right. Well, I'm just going to head over there now, uh, a bit lower down, because I was at 400 feet. So uh, we just go across. It's giving me a bit of warning because it sensed the trees there but we passed them there yeah well, i was thinking uh earlier you know where to uh come to try the drone out and uh i thought this would be an ideal little spot really going back over towards the um should be going back towards the abbey now Sun's gone in. Let's have a look down there. It's 
a bit misleading sometimes you trying to judge how far you've gone we'll go a bit further oh yeah you've got to keep it in line of sight which i can see it i've had many new contact lenses so they're pretty good yeah so there's the rb without me uh without me having to walk over there they did have some vandalism a few years ago it's stupid but uh i think they got some security cameras up now i've been told so big brother will watch them so we're going to go up at that Going up, folks. Going up. I'm just going to straighten up a minute. Yeah, I'm pointing that way. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, the, the five tunnels is over there. I have done some videos on the five tunnels. Uh, you can always check them out. It's always like that little area just there. This is saving me legs. I'm down to 50% now, so I'm going to come back over to me now. Got to remember to, so I keep spinning a bit fast, so I'm just going to uh, roll it so. It should be heading back to me now. Sometimes um, I have this on Zoom and I have a bit of a job to judge exactly where I am. I've just made sure I'm just going to go up a little bit. It should be right to that. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Uh, Another little spin round here. It's got, it shows where I took off. It's also got where I'm stood at the moment on this little marker. So now, yep, I can see it directly above me. Coming down. Well, I'll say directly, it's not far out. Right? Let's move it across a bit too much. I'm going to have to adjust the sensitivity of these uh, controls a bit too fast for me. I'll go across a bit there now. Coming down. That's all right. Yeah, so uh, let's get it round to me. Off a bit, Roy. Just a minute, man. Yeah, so I don't always say because somebody will ask me what drone is it. It's the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, I'm waiting for the Mini 5 to come out, but I'm not too sure whether I'm going to get it because, to be honest, this is uh, it's perfect for me. I'm just going to spin back round to the tree. going up. Do one more. Oh, press the right button, right. <laughs> it's going to come back a little bit. The sensors uh, tell him I'm a bit close. I'm not that close, but 
going up. Check that tree out. Yeah, one more look at the tree, because that's one of the reasons I come here, so. Yeah, we'll just do a bit of that, and we're gonna, we're a bit lower down now, we're getting Sainsbury's, down there, so the police station, just there, and uh, battery's 34%, so I'm gonna come down now, and then, uh, You're bringing it over me. It's not far away. That's it. Yeah, I can see it. Coming down. Yeah, here she comes. My son's brought it up there. I'll oh, keep an eye on it. Go around here. Sun's getting in my eyes a bit. Is there. Oh. I'm going down. Yeah, thanks for joining us, folks. Hope you're enjoying the flight. I'm just going to go. I don't know, I'm going to have to slow this down, it's just going too quick. I don't know what I've done. I did adjust the settings. I don't like it so fast, so... Uh, in fact, I'll have a little play now, I think, when I've done this bit. Just going across here. And uh, I'm going to go back to me. No. Right folks, well that's going to do for the uh, drone. I'll see you on the pocket in a minute to end the video. I'm going to do a few adjustments on this now, slow it down a bit, so see you in a bit. Yeah, greetings folks. Well, I was testing the battery warning and uh, it basically told me that uh, the battery um, was low and just, just it, what it does, it just comes straight back home. It's do, doing its job, it's the main thing. So perhaps I've got the volume turned down, I'll have to check that. Anyway, I'm ending the video now. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a bit of good fun flying the drone, so it's a big thumbs up from me. It's free to subscribe. If you could do that, appreciate it. Um, let's hope there's peace all around the world. We'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.